I want your dream to be so clear, so vivid. That when you wake up in the morning, all you got to do is step in your dream. Ah! When you wake up in the morning, look at your goals. Your goals going to tell you what time to get up. Are you hearing me? Your goals going to tell you who you should be hanging out with. And who, people ask me quite a lot, Eric, should I do this, should I do that? I can't tell you, but your goals going to tell you how much sleep do you need. You might not need to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning for your goals. I don't know, but your goals are going to define what time you get up, how you live your life, how you move, when you say yes, when you say no. Like when you write your goals down, you will know, nope, can't do it. Yep, that's for me. Are you hearing me? So write it down and keep writing it down over and over and over. What do you want? Look, you, you eat however you want to eat. You, you, you do whatever you want to do, right? When you don't know what you want. When you're not clear on what you want, like, you, you, you get up whenever you feel like it. You don't have no drive. You don't have no passion. And so when people ask me, eat, where your passion come from? Where your drive come from? I know what I want. Every single day, I wake up, boom, and I go pursue it. Every single day. How far will your will take you this year? Because there's some things in life you're not going to get. They're not coming to you. You got to go take it. There's some stuff that you can't even just earn by doing the good thing, doing the right. Listen to me. There's some stuff. If you're going to get it, you got to will to get it. It will happen. It will come to pass. But it's not going to happen at your desk, like at your job. It's not going to happen in the basement at your crib. It's not going to happen with you in the bed dreaming about it. It's not going to happen with you in the shower thinking about it. There's some stuff, and I'm telling you from experience, you know I was homeless in a high school dropout. You know that, right? You know I was eating out of garbage cans. If people say, eat, how did you get to where you are? I willed it. Because some things only come with heart, with will. Until you work on your will, stop giving up and stop quitting. Stop giving in. Every time stuff get hard, December is going to look just like last December to you. Life will break you if your will ain't strong. Every day matters. So be phenomenal or be forgotten. Now we gotta keep climbing, we gotta keep moving, we gotta keep going. You're not where you are because you don't have an opportunity. The reason why I've been telling you don't be average, don't be good, try to be great and be phenomenal. The reason why I told you that is because, listen to me, you, 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 you gotta understand. You have to understand that if you stay average and you stay good, you'll never get to where you're trying to get to. Great is about growth. It's about going from the Wright Brothers to the small little plane to a 757. Are you hearing me? That's 757 in you. And you still operating on the Wright Brothers plane. And I'm telling you, if you average, you're going to be forgotten. If you're good, you're going to be forgotten. Nobody's going to remember you. Listen to me. You got to get away. You got to run from average like a plague. And then when you get to good, you got to make up in your mind that good is only to going to be for a few moments. It's just, a, it's just a platform. You're going to get out of good and you're going to go to great. And then you're going to be like your boy, man, for real. I'm trying to transition. I'm trying to transition. I'm trying to go from great, man. Look, you see it. It's your dream. It's your goal. And so you got to make an investment in it. If you need 10 grand, you make the investment, right? Stop asking people to uh, 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 sponsor your dream, uh, to make your goal become a reality, to babysit your child, to rear up your, that what was birthing you, to take care of it. Take it. Listen to me, stop begging. Invest in yourself. And I'm going to tell you something. If you invest in yourself, what you will discover is that other people will invest in you. But I'm telling you, ain't nothing going to change if you can't see it. So I ask you a question. What do you want? And I ask you, what do you want? Because the days you don't feel like getting up out the bed, the days you feel like quitting, giving up and giving in. Listen to me. The only thing that's going to get you up out that bed the only thing that's going to make you strive past that obstacle, get past that brick wall and of it. The only thing that's going to make you get up and do what you're supposed to do is what you see. You got something special inside of you. You're not only a special person created at a special time. You have something special in you. And this is the year that you do special things. All right. So this is the year to do the impossible. I need you to drive possible. What do I mean when I say drive possible? I mean, okay, let me give you an example, right? You got a tree, right? If you hit a tree, I'm talking about a big oak tree. If you hit an oak tree a thousand times, 
in a thousand different spots, what's going to happen? Absolutely nothing. But if you hit an oak tree a thousand times in the exact same spot, you know what's going to happen? You're going to bring it down. You're going to do the impossible. So what I need you to do for me, Monday, I need you to do the possible. Tuesday, I need you to do the possible. Wednesday, I need you to do the possible. Thursday, I need you to do Friday, I need you to do the possible. Saturday, Sunday, I need you to do the possible. We're going to drive it home. What am I talking about? I'm talking about being consistent. I'm talking about regularity. Listen to me. I'm talking about consistency. Once you can get that momentum going, once that momentum gets going, boom, there's no telling where you can go. So the first level was all about you, all about you. Understand there's nothing you can't do. There's nothing you can't have. There's nothing you can't be, but that's over now. Now we got to build on that. What are you willing to sacrifice to get what you want? What are you willing to give up? You want to be the best at your company. You want to make more money than you've ever made. You want to travel the world. I don't know. I don't know. You want to build your second home. I'm not sure what you want, but I need you to understand that you got to give some. You can't stay where you are and go where you're trying to go. And that's the problem. Many of you, you love your comfort zone too much. You love it. You love security too much. And I'm telling you, you can stay where you are. You can. But you can't stay where you are and try to go where you're going. So what sacrifices this year are you willing to make? What are you willing to let go of? What are you willing to give up? Right? What are you willing to part ways with? Right? All right. And so that's why we say you got to want this thing as bad as you want to breathe. But before you can want it as bad as you want to breathe, you got to know what you want. For real, I've been, I've been out of the country. I did that. I got the passport. I seen the world. I did that. I got the degree. I did it. I've been there, done that. I'm, I'm married. Yup. Got the house. Yup. Picket fence. Yup. The two kids. Yup. I got it. And now I'm trying to let other people taste it. I'm trying to let other people feel what it feels like to break a cycle. I'm trying to let other people feel what it feels like to make their dreams become a reality. Are you hearing me? Don't nobody else got to see what you see, but you got to see it and you got to see it clearly. So once it's, and when I say see it, hear what I'm saying. I'm not talking about visual. I'm talking about in your mind. I'm talking about using your imagination. Like you ain't got to pay for that. There's no limits. There's no boundaries. Like stop letting people stop you. Stop letting people tell you, and Eric, if I was you, I wouldn't do it. You ain't me. You're not me. So of course you don't see it. Of course you don't think it could be done. Why? Because you can't do it. But just because you can't do it don't mean I can't do it. And they're not hating. Stop calling them haters. They just don't see what you see. They're not in your mind. And then when I talk about seeing it, I'm not just talking about your imagination. I'm talking about purposing in your heart. Like believing and having faith. 100% that whatever it is you set out to do that you can do it that you got everything that's in you got what it takes to do it you are unique you are special you you listen to me you were designed in a way that nobody else was got there is when they when that blueprint was made for you listen to me they threw it out there's nobody else like you so you got to do me a favor you got to believe it This ain't about today, this ain't to, about tomorrow. This is about every day, why? Because every day matters. And when you learn to perfect every single day, you're gonna wake up and see yourself doing things you never thought were possible.